Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a round in the Engage Zero from the Token Pack. Um, if you saw the update on Thursday for PSN, you saw that, uh, yes, this is a Token Pack suit that is basically the base form of the uh, Engage Zero booster type that is this week's uh, mobile suit uh, in the lottery. And uh, it's not bad. It has a skill that lets it fire its beam rifle, or in this case, uh, also its uh, bullpup machine gun while boosting. Its bullpup is a little bit different from the standard uh, 90 millimeter. I think it is. It uh, fires in five round bursts. So I want to say there was something else that had that. Was it the Corvette booster? Yeah, uh, Jim Kai Corvette booster, I think it was, from... Uh, uh, Gundam Thunderbolt, I believe, also has that. Uh, but this is the best round I've managed to get so far. Yeah, th that was the firing the beam rifle while boosting. That can be a really hard shot to make, in all honesty. I have had a lot more luck, uh, for the most part, with the uh, uh, bullpup that the, uh, than the beam rifle. I want to say that the bullpup is unique to this version of the suit. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not bad. That downswing is really difficult to uh, hit both parts with. I think I managed to do it at least once in this round, but uh, yeah, managed to uh, snag a couple of kills there at least. We're behind by a little bit, but not a lot, and, you know, round is just starting, so. And, ah, brain. Brain is gone, but uh, yeah, that was uh, just... I am saving up on my PC account for the Rosen Zulu spin. Ah, I think I need a few more days, but I'm getting there. <sighs> Thinking about trying to get the uh, uh, do the step up for the booster type. I know I've tried to walk through that with other uh, suits before and it hasn't worked, but ah, again, brain. Uh, but yeah, the overheat on the uh, the overheat on the rifle uh, and the reload on the bullpup are both relatively quick, so that is uh, definitely a mark in their favor. Uh, one thing, I'm kind of thinking that I might rebuild this for boost instead of defense, because, you know, I, the defense is good, because that's probably the only reason I'm still alive, which I'm about to not be, but even so, yeah, um, just, it is really kind of hard to make good use of... Uh, the firing while boosting when you can't boost for very long. So, getting getting an extended uh, uh, an extended boost uh, on that it would be really handy. Um, you know, I definitely underestimated before I started messing with this how much the uh, you know the lengthy uh, boost gauge on the Sananju helps line uh, line up those mobile shots. But yeah, it's you know you. Of course, uh, it, it kind of makes this a little bit more difficult to use than you'd think at first blush because you, you know, the the impulse is to boost straight in uh, to line up the shot, and that will just get you, you know, stun locked and killed. So you 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 know have, gonna have to be more clever than that, or at least a better uh, shot than that. And I'm working on those to some, not all, not great effect. Uh, but, okay, yep, there's that Alex again. I fought this same Alex, like, two or three times uh, this evening, because this was the first 450Q that actually came up, and I think the only reason that that uh, hit was uh, my bracing myself against that crate, honestly. Trying to line up the saber, that didn't work either, and here comes a, uh, I think that's the ghoul, and yeah, just, uh, yeah, wrecked me. The, the, like, really super weird uh, Xeon suits we've been getting lately, the Ghoul, the Dolmel, the Jurek, those I'm kind of having trouble keeping straight, honestly. Dolmel slides, the Ghoul, I think, is the one with those shields, and then the Jurek is the big gorilla thing. I think that's right. But, yeah, like I said, it's just, it'll take a while to stick. The, those are suits I either didn't know about before they hit GBO2, or hadn't thought about in many years, like the uh, Dolmel. And... You know, there's something kind of great about that, like I've said, I like, you know, I like the game being full of obscure weirdness, but that's, you know, that's me. Um, incidentally, they have already put up the, 
uh, post-release survey for the Freedom Gundam, which I feel is a little bit premature, but it is out there if you want to, uh, you know, say, I, you know, say whatever. Say you want uh, AU suits on uh, PlayStation Network, say you don't want them at all, whatever. You know, whatever your opinion is on it, they are they are looking for it at the moment. So, and there is the high mobility Galbaldi Alpha dealt with, and there is okay that other uh, Engage Zero is down. Here's the Alex once again, and yeah, like I've said before, Force Injectors Level One, you can't get a lot out of them. You can you know basically swerve out of the way of a shot at the last second. And that is what you can do. You can't really do any careful maneuvering until you get up to Force Injector 2 or 3. Um, Freedom Gundam apparently has Force Injector 4, so that that thing can probably just, you know, dance all afternoon. But, let's see, two minutes left, we've got a 700-point lead. Um, yeah, and the ghoul is right on me, but that's okay. I have type advantage. I actually managed to... Uh, uh, land the whole downswing. The secret is you're probably not going to land the downswing on skinny little Federation suits. I'm pretty sure that's that's the the long and the short of it. Just I I have I think I managed to do it like once against a fellow engaged zero at one point during one of these rounds. Probably not this one, but yeah, just uh, definitely the chunkier uh, suits are are better for landing that at this uh, at this juncture but ow yeah and that of course is the issue okay yeah i did actually manage to land the whole thing and i did that by just kind of taking it at an angle landed it again and uh that and now i'm i believe i'm about to get killed but yep tackled me and yep landed the whole thing you know that they, they uh i was showing off and they and they said lesson learned so that was that was on me but uh Yep. Okay, yeah, and as you see, yeah, they missed one of their swings on that person. Yeah, it's just, un unless you're fighting a large target, it's it's hard to land that whole thing. You have to line it up very, very specifically. Um, let's see, a member of the winning side just disconnected. We've got 35 seconds left. Definitely time to push as best we can. And let's see, a couple of people there with low health. And also just trying to, uh, trying to uh, stun some people while I can, but also just get, again, get in, find something uh, to kill, and kill it. Uh, Bullpup managed to take somebody out on the way through. That's good. Got that too. And unfortunately, there's nobody in my, you know, this Alex is pretty hardy, so I do not have time to finish it off. I got enough uh, boost to actually move again, but yeah, it's just not quite enough. I don't think it would have been enough to win even if we'd finished it, but it would have been even closer. As it is, you know, we, we took as great advantage of that uh, disconnect as we could. And, yeah, it, it did pretty well for me. 3,400 out of 9,900. 7 and 3, 93,000 damage. I'll take it. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I keep staring at the uh, Engage Zero model kit on Surugaya, and it is it is tempting. I, like I said before, I have had these problems where uh, if uh, you know if I see these things in in action, I suddenly want them. But I think since they're doing the high mobility camp for as a G frame, I might just see if I if I can hold out for an Engage Gundam or Engage Zero uh, through G frame instead, which. You know, I just really like those little figures.